I've got a fun video for you today. Um, it's not one of our tips or tricks or copycat recipes or even our craft videos. This was a fun tag um, that I saw going around. And so I spoke with uh, Kayla Hottenstein and she, um, we met on Twitter. She's so sweet. And she was talking about how she loved the the tag to what hasn't been tagged yet. So she and I decided we're going to tag each other um, to do this 13 questions um, where then you guys get to decide based on our answers what princess we're most like. So I'm going to answer 13 questions and then you guys in the comments get to decide which Disney princess I most resemble based off of my personality. So I'm not going to tell you who my favorite princess is, though if you've watched um, some of my past videos, you might have seen me mention it, um, but I don't want to sway you one way or the other. So just based off my personality with these 13 questions. So go ahead and in the comments below, put which princess you think I most resemble. All right, how does that sound? This sounds so fun to me. So I hope you'll participate because it just, I don't know, it just seems super <laughs> Great. Okay. So what is your favorite leisure activity? So my favorite leisure activity would probably be reading and writing. Um, I am a published author. I don't know if you know that about me, um, but I am. I love to write, but I really, really love to read. So that's probably my favorite leisure activity. Although I do love to bake, obviously, that's why I do the copycat recipe videos because I just love to make things in the kitchen, I can't really draw or paint or any of those um, kind of artsy mediums. So I don't know, food just has always been for me kind of my art. So those are probably my favorite leisure activities. And of course I love to travel um, and Disney <laughs> is one of my favorite leisure activities. But if I had to pick just one, I'd probably say reading. The next question is explain your style. So, <laughs> My style um, is probably comfort. Like, I just want to be comfortable. If I could just wear comfy pants and a t-shirt, like, I'm in heaven. Um, but I do, like, sometimes I like to dress cute. Um, more of a classic style girl. Um, I'm not super trendy. Um, every once in a while, I'll do something that's trendy. But mostly, I like cl the classic looks. So things that don't really go in and out of style. Um, I don't want to wake up three weeks from now and have my pants <laughs> not be in style anymore. So I'm not super trendy. Um, more of the classical look. Question number three is, are you humble? <laughs> so this question just seems counterintuitive because if you say no, then, I mean, I guess you're being honest, but if you say, yeah, I'm humble, like, that just seems like it's bragging to me, so I don't know. <laughs> um, so I guess I would say, I don't know, I'm caught between sometimes I feel like I'm super awesome and, like, queen of the universe, and sometimes I'm like, oh my gosh, why do I exist? Why am I alive? I know that's kind of super sad, but sometimes you just get like that, I think, and so I kind of, like, uh, you know, just go back and forth between those two things where I think I'm super great or I think I'm like the worst person in the world, I guess. I hope that makes sense. Um, don't feel too bad because, you know, I, I mostly think <laughs> I'm awesome. So I guess humble isn't totally my thing, but I don't really go around like bragging about myself. So... <laughs> Some of my friends will find out things about me and they'll be like, why didn't you tell me? And I'll be like, I don't know. I just don't like to brag about myself. So in some ways, I think I'm humble. But most of the time, I think I'm awesome. So I guess that's not really humble unless I'm bragging about it, which I usually don't. So <laughs> I hope that helps. <laughs> okay, the next question is, if you could have an animal sidekick, what would it be? And hands down, I don't even have to think about this as a dolphin. I love dolphins. They're my favorite animal. Um, I've actually been to Discovery Cove a couple times just so I could swim with them. I love them so much. Um, and it's probably not the best. I don't know. But I just really love them. And seeing them, um, been on a cruise, and seeing them in the wild is just the coolest thing. So I would definitely choose a dolphin. The next question is, what would be your dream job? 
I always tell people my dream job would be to live at Disney World. Like, for real. Like, if that could be my job, like, just live there. Like, eat all the snacks, ride all the rides, see all the parades. Like, um, I don't, like, I do want to work at Disney, but, like, I just want to live there. If that could be my job, I don't know, like, a YouTube channel. I'll start, like, a, what was that movie? The Truman Show? <laughs> But where I just live at Disney World, like, that would be my dream job. So if anybody wants to uh, pay me to just follow me around um, at Disney 24-7, I would, I would be okay with that. Number six, best quality. What is my best quality? Um, I think it's that I try to see the best in people. Like, I try and give them the benefit of the doubt. Um, and just really uh, see what's good about people. I think there's so much negative in this world that I want to I want to see people um, in the best light possible. And so I just try and look for, for what I admire and what I enjoy about other people. I think that's my best quality is that I can usually find um, something about everybody. Um, and I think we need more of that in this world. Number seven is your worst quality. Ooh, who likes to talk about this kind of stuff? Um, I would have to say I'm not always the most realistic person. Um, like I said, I'm a writer, so I love to like just be off in my head. And um, I guess you could say I'm a little scatterbrained sometimes um, and forgetful because I'm thinking of other things. So I just like to really dream big, and sometimes that gets me in trouble because it's not <laughs> always realistic. Um, so that's probably the worst one, is that I need to be a, probably a little bit more in the moment um, and not with my head up in the clouds all the time. Number eight is a very Disney question. It's when and where do you sing the most? <laughs> Uh, this is a great question, and a lot of people probably say the shower because of the acoustics, but me, I love having an audience, so like, and I can't sing, so I don't want them to hear me sing, but like to see me sing, if that makes sense, so I love to sing in my car <laughs> when I'm driving by myself, because then I can like rock out and sing and like be crazy and all that stuff, and people can see me, but they can't hear me, so that's where I love to sing the most, is in my car by myself. Number nine is what article of clothing or accessory can't I live without? Uh, right now, it's my Fitbit Versa. I love this thing. Um, I always have it on. Um, I don't know why. I just love all the little statistics on there, and I'm constantly checking to see how many steps and how many calories and how far I've gone and all that good stuff. So I don't know why. Um, but that's what I always have to have on right now. So it probably changes. Um, through the years or months or whatever, but right now that's my, my current go-to have-to-have accessory. Number 10 is most important quality in a prince. This is a good question. Um, I have not found my prince charming yet, still looking. So I would say my top um, qualities that I look for would be honesty. That's very important to me. I need somebody that can just be honest with me. I don't want to have to guess whether or not they're being truthful. Um, also, laughter. Like, if you can make me laugh and I can make him laugh, like, that's just really important to me. Um, I think life's too short to take it all so seriously. Um, so I want somebody that I can laugh with. And also, kindness. I think a lot of things can be overcome with kindness. So I think it's just such an important quality to have. So those three, honesty, kindness, and humor. Number 11, if I could have any Disney ability, what would it be? Um, I would have to say getting woodland creatures to do my chores. <laughs> if I could do that, like, I would be in heaven. No more laundry or dishes. Oh, yeah, that would be great. So that would be my choice. Number 12 is what's your favorite color? My favorite color right now, because it changes. Um, is probably purple. I'm really digging purple right now. And yellow. I love yellow. I don't know. It's just so bright and fun. And I feel happier when I wear it. So those are probably my two favorite colors right now. Question 13. Oh, I'm so sad. It's our last question. Um, but it's a good one. So describe yourself in three words. This is a toughie. Um, 
how do you just pick three like to describe yourself? Um, describing yourself in general is hard <laughs> and only having three words to do it is super hard. So I guess I would have to say intelligent. Um, I think even though I can be scatterbrained, I think that I am quite intelligent. Um, next I would say humorous. Um, my friends tell me all the time how funny I am. So, and I love making people laugh. So I would say humorous. And then finally, uh, I would say kind. I, I really do believe in kindness a lot. Um, and any time that I can practice that uh, is something that I really strive for. So I would say kind is my third one. So there you have it. Those are my answers to the 13 questions. Uh, go ahead and put below which Disney princess you think I'm most like based off of my answers. I'm really excited to see what y'all think. And I'm also going to tag some people down below too for the challenge. So I hope you'll participate and do that. Um, it, was, it was really fun. So again, if you want to um, check out any of our other videos, we'd love to, to have you subscribe to our channel. We've got some great stuff. Content comes out at least every Wednesday. Um, sometimes we do bonus, bonus videos on Friday and Saturday, um, like this one. So be sure to just keep coming back to check out all our new content. You can tap the bell so you're notified anytime we have a new video go up um, and we're constantly adding more. So thanks for stopping by and hope to see you real soon.